What's up guys, All Wheel DSM here. And uh, today, I'm gonna take a break from working on the Starion. Got a couple things to do on the Talon. It has an oil leak coming from the um, bottom of the turbo drain tube from the turbo side. Um, I wanna fix this shitty exhaust. Just, just the tip coming out. I don't know, let me see if I can get that. Yep, you see that? That's some fucking like copper gasket. I don't know, um, let me pop the hood and show you. I want to put, um, I have this, uh, I think it's a 60 degree, uh, dash 6 AN fuel fitting. And I would like to put that on today. Um, but yeah, see that? It's a little bit of oil. I mean, that's built up it's not that big that little drop is more in tune to what I'm talking about but um off the uh, fuel filter ugh, camera's not focusing but off the fuel filter <clears throat> there's a straight dash six and line and it's kind of twisting the line and uh, that makes me nervous so I want to put that uh, 60 degree on fix that oil leak, fix the exhaust, and um, that's about it. And I don't know, we might have time to do a little work on Starion, maybe get that thermo valve off. But for right now, let's get to that, and I'm going to stop by the store, and I will get back to you. Alright, just to show you guys what I got at O'Reilly's. Um, <clears throat> I got this cheapo little 3 inch downturn. Um, my exhaust piping is actually 2.75 inch. But um, right now, for the downturn, it has a 2.5 inch, which, um, you know, I don't think downsizing at the end of the pipe is really a good thing. You really need to upsize, in my opinion, anyways. And, you know, I'm not an exhaust expert. If I'm wrong, someone correct me. But um, I'm going to take that entire flange off right there from the um, where the uh, muffler used to be. I'm going to take that off, probably trim it a little bit. I don't know, this this thing seems like it'll do good. But, um, and I got some exhaust crack sealant, just in case. And then a muffler clamp, because, um, I don't want to weld it. I should weld it. I don't want to, though. <clears throat> I think this will do good. So, um, I'm going to get this flange off, and uh, I'll get back to you in the shop. All right, so we got this shitty fucking flange off. And uh, yeah, it looks like they used self-tapping screws and some copper gasket, because that is flexible to seal this thing. And I don't know, it just, it, sound, it, it rattled. It didn't sound good. Well, I mean, it sounded decent, but I think this three inch will sound a lot better. Um. I don't know, let's get this shitty pipe off and let's see what we can do. All right, so we got that pipe off. Um, I ran into a little bit of a problem. Do you see these self-tapping bolts right here? I don't know. There's like an inner and an outer sleeve to this pipe. I don't know if that's normal. Like I said, I'm not an exhaust expert, but um, yeah, that's, that's not gonna cut it um, because this pipe, will actually almost fit inside there. So what I think I'm gonna do, since it's separate sleeves, is um, probably cut around it, just deep enough to peel that sleeve off, and then set this over it, set this pipe over it. So uh, I'm gonna go to the back, get the grinder, and uh, get back to you whenever that's done. So we got this set up in the little portable vise I use whenever I cut things outside. Uh, sorry for the lighting, it's a bit shoddy. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna try to cut around that. I'm gonna set up the tripod, try to time lapse this. If it's on the video, then it didn't look good. If it is in the video, then it looked uh, decent. But um, I'll get back to you when I start that.
All right, so we got this on. Um, I sized it up next to the car. I didn't bolt it up or anything. I don't know. I hope I got it right. I can always take it off if I can't. If it's not, I mean, um, so we're going to take this back up front, uh, put the clamp on it, and then I went and bought some uh, copper gasket. So we're going to put that around the flange right here. And um, I want to, I kind of want to get um, an exhaust hanger for this because I don't want it to hang too low. It's kind of heavy. I don't know. I hope these two are good with the isolators it has on there. But um, yeah, let's bring that up. All right, so we got this all clamped down and the exhaust sealant around it. That thing was weird. It, kind of, it came out kind of like plaster. But um, now what we're going to do is uh, we ought to relieve the fuel pressure because I want to do that 60 degree bend first off the fuel filter. So to relieve the fuel pressure, there's an MPI relay um, on the side of the center console. We're going to take a little panel off there and um, then we're going to crank it run it until it stops. Then we're going to come over here, have the tripod set up for another time lapse. Um, I'm going to come over here, take the battery out, take the battery tray off. There's a fuel filter right down there. It's a Fuel Lab 818. Um, and then get that bottom fitting off, probably pull it back through here, pull it out, chop it, get that 60 degree bend on there put it back on and then we'll fix that oil leak all right so to get this panel off it's just two screws and a clip one right here and then one right here and the MPI relay is actually behind here here's the uh, harness clip for it I do not think I'll be able to get the camera in there to show you but it's right back there you'll feel it um, and now we're gonna crank this over I don't even know if it's gonna start there might not even be fuel but pressure in the lines but um, just in case, we're going to take that gas cap off and uh, that will relieve any other fuel pressure in the tank while we're uh, cranking it. Let's go over here. Yes, it is yellow in there. Put that in the wing crevice. Alright, uh, I got to go get the keys. This thing even wants to start. All right, good. No fuel in the lines. So um, I'm gonna set the tripod up, or I already set it up. I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and we're gonna time lapse this. And let's see if we can get some good content from it. So I got that fitting off, it's right here. See it says strafing, ooh, it smells like gas in there, bad. Spilt a bunch, I thought I relieved all the fuel pressure, but I guess I'm still gonna spray out, you see all that down there? Ugh. So now I'm gonna pull that through, pull that line through the bottom of the car, and uh, you know, try to cut it with a flat chisel, because I don't wanna use a cutoff tool, because, um, sparks and gasoline don't mix i know it's just a nylon braided line but eh, there's still a big chance i've seen a spark whenever i used to cut off wheel but uh yeah we're gonna try this and we have this left over what we're actually gonna do is uh send that back through put the 60 degree bend which is right here on the fuel filter and we're gonna size it up mark it with tape we're gonna chop it all right so i got it all cut and marked I'm gonna cut it about in the middle of right there. Oh, getting gas on my hand. But um, I'm gonna use a cold chisel. It's pretty sharp. Kind of put it right there in the center and give it one fell swoop. Set up the tripod so you can catch if I fail at it because you should be able to just hit it once and it should break or not break, cut in half. Clean square cut, but um, let's try it.
that's not really working for me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm getting sprayed with gas. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple more swings off camera. I'll tell you how much it took. I won't lie to you, I swear. So we got our fitting in place. Um, I'm gonna send it back up through and then I'm gonna attach it, put that battery tray back on. We'll tackle that oil leak. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to stop the video there. Um, as I was sending that fuel line through, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but um, as I was sending that fuel line through, I got this weird, weird little hoo feeling, you know? Uh, you need to move the jack. Like, the, the jack needs to be moved. It doesn't feel right. And I go over there and look at it, and it's actually leaking. Uh, oil from the stem right there. It's got a nice puddle underneath the ground. Let's see if I can pick that up. Yep, you see it down there? Leaked a bunch of oil. That's crazy, you know how you get those weird feelings that save your life? <laughs> but uh, I had a jack stand, but uh, it still wouldn't have been really good if that would have fallen on me. I know you can, uh, like, replace the O-ring and, uh, refill it with hydraulic fluid, but, uh, ooh, camera went weird, but, honestly, this is just one of those cheap throwaway jacks you get when you're in a bind, and I was in a bind, so I got that, and, uh, I've been meaning to get, like, an actual, like, low-profile jack, this car is pretty low, but, um, yeah. I'm going to stop filming that there, I'm going to upload today, go pick up a new jack, and then um, continue from there. But uh, we got this thing dried up, it's nice and set, just like a weld, like it said it would, so that's good. So we still have to throw that back on. Um, I'm going to wait to fix this oil leak because uh, Mitsubishi, I don't know if it's other manufacturers, but Mitsubishi has these uh, crush washers that go on the bottom of the turbo drain and uh, throw those on there and that's where I'm leaking out of is the bolt holes. I thought I was leaking out of the AN hose because I have a dash 10 uh, fitting coming out of there and a return line but um, yeah I'm going to try one of those or I guess a set of those because I was looking and actually see it bubbling out but uh, yeah I'm going to end that video there guys. Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, and all that, and you guys have a good day.